Hey guys, this is part four of the how to make a Pac-Man game in Flash CS4. If you have not seen parts one through three yet, please go back and watch them now. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna make an enemy. So um, I already have one. I'm going to import him. You guys can make your own or download one online, but um, I've got one right here. So um, if you do download one, go to File, Import, and Import to Stage, and Find Yours. I called mine Ghost. And um, now drag him into the screen. And I'm just going to resize mine. Not that big. Convert it to a symbol. And just call it Ghost or Enemy, whatever you want to call it. But make sure it's a movie clip. So, put this anywhere on the screen. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to add some script to it so that it will follow him. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into its actions, and we're going to say on click event, parentheses, enter frame, and parentheses, curly bracket. <clears throat> um, then you're going to say an if statement, if parentheses, this dot underscore x is smaller than underscore root dot char dot underscore x. Then you're going to end parentheses, curly bracket, this dot underscore x plus equals five, or er, sorry, speed. And one thing I forgot to do was I had a speed variable above this if. I'm going to give it a speed of 5 because I gave my character's speed of 7. So you want your ghost's speed to be smaller or equal to your character's because you don't want him to go too fast or else he'll catch up too fast. But anyway, what this code means is if this x is smaller than the uh, character, so if its x is left of this, make him go right. So now just copy this, paste it, and then you're going to say if his um, x is greater than the roots, then minus his x. Now paste it again, change this y, or this x to a y, this x to a y, and this x to a y. So if this x is smaller than the character, make it uh, plus, or minus, sorry. So if he is above him, then, hold on. Okay, if he's above him, okay, plus. All right, sorry, now copy that. Change this smaller than to greater than and make it minus. Okay, now end curly brackets. Okay, so now if we test it, the ghost is gonna follow us. Okay, so um, I'm just gonna change the ghost speed. I'm gonna uh, change it to four, because he's going a little too fast. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back into our actions and make a space here and say if underscore root dot char dot hit test parentheses this and parentheses and parentheses curly bracket go to or sorry sorry um, underscore parent dot go to and stop frame four. Never mind. Put um, underscore root dot lives. Oops, underscore root dot lives. Um, <clears throat> plus or minus equals one. Um, make sure that says lives. And end curly bracket. 
Okay, so what we're going to do now is we are going to make another text box and in here write lives. It doesn't have to be that big. And um, go to properties and make sure it is a static text box. Put this right here. Okay, then make another text box just like you did with the score. Put it right there. Make this one a dynamic text box. And um, go into here and make its variable lives. And then you're going to go to your timeline and you're going to say um, your frame 2 actions. Say, just copy this right here, paste it again, except change that score to lives, and change that zero to three or whatever you want, however many lives you want your um, character to have. So now when we test it, when the ghost hits us, we'll lose a life. And I know how, I'll show you how to fix that um, unlimited amount of uh, how it just keeps going down. The way we do that is we go, um, just go into your, your black square or your invisible object. And under this, um, say if parentheses underscore root dot lives um, equals equals zero in parentheses curly bracket underscore parent dot go to and play or stop sorry go to and stop frame four and curly bracket. Okay, so that's saying if lives is equal to zero, go to and stop four. Now uh, go back into here and where it says root dot lives minus equals one, write underscore root dot char dot underscore x equals 270. Copy this. Paste it and change this to a 200 and this X to a Y. And now when we test it, okay, so now when we test it, if he hits us, we go back to here and we lose lives. So um, now what we need to do is make another, go to your winning screen and hit F6 and change this to a um, you lose. And I'm just gonna change the font color to red. And then go into these actions and write stop. And now I'm gonna make another text box and write try again. Make its size pretty small. And uh, convert this to a symbol and just write whatever you want. I'm just going to put try. Oops, sorry. Um, make sure when you convert it to a symbol, you select button. Okay, so now go into here and go into its actions. And actually go back to frame one and go to your start button and just copy that. Paste it into these actions for try again and change that 2 to a 1. Okay, so now when we test it all together, we eat stuff, we get score, the ghost hits us, we go back to here and we lose a life. The ghost hits us, we lose a life. And when we lose all lives, it says you lose, you click that, and you go back to start. So um, thank you for watching this. Please subscribe rate and comment and um, please watch my other videos.